Hi friends, welcome back to my reading nook. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the Mother Goose nursery rhyme tag, but before I do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos from me. The first nursery rhyme is Humpty Dumpty, and for this you have to find a book where the death of a main character is not a surprise. And for this one I chose Regretting You by Koho, and it says right on there that um, and this is not a surprise because um, it says on the back that something happens to him and it's revealed in the first um, couple of pages that he dies. So that's why I went with that one. Next up is Jack and Jill and this one is choose a book where the secondary character is just along for the ride and for this one I chose Hopeless by Coho um, because Six, her best friend is the main character's best friend is just um, she doesn't have a big part she's just there and she um, is supportive of Sky, the main character but she um, yeah, the focus is on Sky and not on Six. Next up is Hickory Dickory Dock, and this one is to find a book that has time travel. And for this one, I chose The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Uh, this one is about Nora, who... Um, dies by suicide, caution warning for suicide. She dies by suicide and then she goes to a place uh, in between life and death, which is the Midnight Library. And with the help of a familiar face, she is able to go back to certain times in her life where she made the decisions that led to where she is now. And she has the opportunity to make different choices um, in hopes that things will turn out differently for her. So that's why I chose that one. Next up is Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And this one is a book with a nautical theme. And I don't have really any that um, have a nautical theme. So the closest I came was The Night Swim by Meg Megan Goldwyn. Golden. And this one, um, I actually haven't read yet, but it talks about a uh, drowning. And so um, that's why I chose that one. And I don't really have any others that are, um, that would fit that category. Next one is There Was a Crooked Man, and this one is a book that has a misunderstood character. And for this one, I chose The Bride Test by Helen Wong. Um, this one talks about a man who has autism, and he hasn't um, been able to find a wife, and his mother um, takes matters into her own hands without really understanding his um, condition and the, um, things that make him who he is and, um, how autism, um, plays a part in his life. The 
Next one is Mary Had a Little Lamb, and this is to find an unrequited love pop plot line. And for this one, I chose The Pushed by Ashley Audrain. Um, this one is that this one is about Blythe who um, has a daughter but she doesn't have the maternal connection to her daughter that she thinks she has she should have um, and then she has a son that comes along and she does feel that maternal connection that she thinks she should have um, and so yeah, the daughter obviously loves her mom, but the mom struggles with um, the emotional aspect of um, connecting with her daughter. Next up is 10 Little Monkeys, and this is a controversial book or author, and I don't have the physical book for this, but the, but the one that I thought of was uh, Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. Um, there have been a lot of um, issues surrounding that author, and so uh, that was the one that I that first came to mind um, for, for this one. Next up is Polly Put the Kettle On, and this one is to find a book with outdated gender stereotypes. And for this one, I chose The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton. Um, I'm only not quite halfway through this one, but it does uh, flip back and forth between present day and um, earlier on. Um, I think it's the early 1900s, and so there are obviously... There were a lot of um, stereotypes and things like that in that time period. Next up is Twinkle Twinkle ABCs and this is to find two books that have of uh, similar plot lines and for this one I chose Slammed and Point of Retreat by Coho and I chose these ones because I think I mentioned in my um, author spotlight of Coho that um, or my ranking um, Coho's books rather that um, she's not the best at coming up with sequels and this is um, the first book in the Slam series and then this is the second book and the second book is basically the exact same story except told from another character's point of view. Um, which is fine for one book. I can see that being appealing, but um, I think I said in that, that video that I would prefer um, something different for the rest of her sequels. Um, but that's what I have for that one. And lastly is Old Mother Hubbard, and this is to find a book with an amusing grandmother figure. And for this one, I chose The Switch by Beth O'Leary. Uh, this is about a 29-year-old and a and her 79-year-old grandmother who switch um, lives. They don't switch like in body, but they switch um, physically. Um, one goes to live, the the granddaughter goes to live where the grandma lives, and the grandma comes to live where the granddaughter lives for a period of time. Um, and so they live in each other's spaces and worlds um, for that period of time. And it's just a lovely story. And um, Eileen, the grandmother, um is just so entertaining. I loved it. Um, loved the plot, loved the characters, especially Eileen, the grandmother, and yeah, 
that's why I chose that one. All right, that's it for this tag. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I saw this video uh, done by Break Even Books, and so thank you to him for the inspiration for this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.